I mean, he can do whatever he wants. He's a, he's a great patriot, he's a great American, and he's a great fan, and everybody loves Holden. But it, Karen over at Deadspin doesn't. Bubba, would you like an apology? What would you like from Karen at Deadspin? You know, I, I don't even want, know what to think about that. It's kind of, it's a little too late for that. Um, the damage is already done. It's, you know, worldwide. Now there's comments all over. There's, you know, disrespect towards Native Americans and towards my family. Um, we never in any way, shape, or form meant to disrespect any Native Americans or any tribes. Um, boy, oh 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 boy, I tell you guys. It is a happy day for me. It is a great Monday, guys, because I have some amazing news. The entire woke staff at Dance Spin has been fired, right? Laid off. They're unemployed. And usually, usually, I would not celebrate somebody losing their job, right? Because, again, you know, people got families to feed, got mouths to feed, got kids to feed and stuff like that. But in this case right here, I have to make an exception. And the reason why is because Dead Spin is the same outlet that hired this guy, Kron J. Phillips, who has me blocked on X, okay? I can't see his post because I have uh, criticized him for his race-baiting nonsense that he writes on that website, where most recently he accused a nine-year-old Chiefs fan Mr. Holden Armenta of being a racist for wearing blackface uh, during a game, a Chiefs game. But he wasn't actually really wearing blackface. He was wearing black and red paint on his face to support his NFL football team. And Mr. Holden Armenta, the nine-year-old, is actually Native American, right? But this guy accused a nine-year-old of being a racist and hating black people and Native Americans at the same time, even though he is Native American. Now, the family decided to sue Dead Spin after Dead Spin refused to issue a retraction or an apology or to fire Mr. Kron J. Phillips for accusing a nine-year-old of being a racist. All right, so Holden, I, I looked at the pictures of you at, at the game, and tell me about your outfit. Tell me why you had the headdress on and why you painted your face red and black like as you went to the game and were hanging out what was what was going on were people excited by what you were wearing um yeah like a lot of people wanted to take pictures with me and we were just walking into the game it seems silly to say but nobody saw anything wrong with the outfit and Ra raiders fans are not normally known as the friendliest bunch and even they were embracing we have a picture of you with the the raiders cheerleaders so what was it like when the article came out what was it like for you at school it was like scary because i didn't know what was happening what did happen? Well, the whole internet started to call me Chiefs blackface racist. This racist kid figured out how to hate Native Americans and black people at the same time. Given that you're Native American, was that kind of confusing? Yes. Shannon, that initial emotion when you saw the article was what? It was shocking yeah. because the other half of his face was red. And we didn't know what blackface even was. And as you learned about it and as you read the article and, and understood, tell me, tell me what happened. I just went to the media and tried to prove that we were not, that he was not in a black face, that his other half of his face was red. And I figured I could prove that and they would remove it and take it down. That was the and goal. And did they? I had no. to call somebody right away to have them send me what they saw on TV as we were driving. Like, what did they see that we didn't? If Dead's been right then and said, we are so sorry, we are totally wrong, we're going to pull everything down and issue a retraction, would you feel differently? No. If they, I mean, if they would have done it right away, like the other ones did, I mean, the minute that other outlet saw that, oh, man, they, these are Native Americans, and yes, his face is red with black, um, that would have been a lot different. But the way they went about it and doubled down, um, it's not acceptable. Shannon, why do you think they did double down? I don't know. I mean, we're asked about this daily. Uh, it doesn't go away. Libby, what is, what are we to make of the fact that Deadspin, number one, knew they were wrong because they watched the CBS broadcast and saw the clip and saw him uh, with half red, half black face. 
uh, painted face for the chiefs. And then even when it was brought to their attention and brought to their editor's attention, in addition to the reporter, they still doubled down. Yeah, well, we wouldn't be here today. We really wouldn't be here today uh, if they had just done the right thing. Instead, they intentionally targeted a nine-year-old boy. This kid is, uh, he is an uh, all-American kid, loves football, loves the Kansas City Chiefs, uh, loves his Native American heritage. Uh, and they stole a lot of that innocence from him, and it is, um, it's just not okay. And they didn't have to be here. No, they, they, look, it, I, does it make it different, though, and you know, we'll, we'll put up the article, but does it make it different that, this, that they actually had to search through the CBS clip and find the one frame of video yeah. where all you saw was the half of his face that was painted black? Yeah, it's really remarkable. If you go back and look at the CBS broadcast, as we did, Holden was shown for, like, three seconds. And you really had to, uh, uh, with like cat-like precision, stop the video and screen capture it just at that moment where the red side of his face was not shown. That's intentional, that is wrongful, um, and that's where we're gonna be asking for punitive damages. Yeah, so you see now you hear that, okay? So Deadspin was sued, and it seems like karma is striking the company uh before the lawsuit can be settled okay because that entire staff of is being laid off now again it's not because of the lawsuit but at the same time at the same time i'm pretty sure uh the new company that is buying deadspin which is why the entire staff is being laid off uh they probably don't want the liability of having somebody like karan j phillips be a writer or editor or work at this company that has shown to be so reckless and hateful when it comes to the type of content that they're putting out there content that can get the outlet sued okay which is what happened so now this guy is unemployed right he's looking for another job okay uh and a lot of it is probably because of his recklessness. So without further ado, let's uh, read about this. Deadspin staff were informed via email the outlet was sold by Go Media and that its new parent company would not be retaining any of them. In the email obtained by the Daily Beast and Axios Go CEO Jim Spanfeller said his media firm was approached by Lineup Publishing, a newly formed digital media firm based in Europe. Lineup expressed interest in purchasing Deadspin. Quote, I do want to make it clear that we were not actively shopping Deadspin, Spanfeller said in the email. Quote, the rationale behind the decision to sell included a variety of important factors that include the buyer's editorial plans for the brand, tough competition in the sports journalism sector, and a valuation that reflected a sizable premium from our original purchase price for the site. Quote, Deadspin's new owners have made a decision not to carry over any of the site's existing staff and instead build a new team more in line with their editorial vision for the brand. While the new owners plan to be reverential to Deadspin's unique voice, they plan to take a different content approach regarding the site's overall sports coverage. Okay, so... Uh, maybe just maybe that means that they're not going to be woke okay because if this new company wanted to be woke and to stick with you know what deadspin has and what they're doing then they would not be doing this but clearly and obviously there's a problem with the current staff they don't like the direction that the company's going in currently and they're like okay well we're going to buy the brand but we're going to get rid of everybody that works at the website and we're going to keep some things that we think work good for it and we're going to get rid of others hopefully the wokeness right but regardless uh, Karan J. Phillips is unemployed, okay? He's been fired, okay? Laid off, okay? And again, the reason why you have to think is because um, wokeness is a liability, okay? If I was this new company, I, I probably would have made this purchase. I mean, because again, you know, Deadspin is a woke, woke brand and, you know, woke brands uh, tend to not do well nowadays in today's economy, but who knows, right? Uh, maybe they can turn it around. Maybe they can, um, you know, make Deadspin more respectable. But regardless, um, the Daily Beast reports staff were locked out of their accounts and had to leave immediately. Yeah, so they were fired immediately, right? They were kicked out immediately. So with that being said, again, uh, I think this is karma, right? This is karma for what happens when you try to accuse a nine-year-old boy, an innocent boy, of being a racist 
falsely accuse him for clicks and likes, okay? And it's about time that these types of people are held accountable. Like I told you guys, in order to stop the boohoo, whining, and crying racism industry, it has to be defunded, okay? They have to face financial accountability for these reckless allegations in order to stop it, okay? That industry must be defunded. And I hope and pray that this is an example that will be set for anybody that's looking at boohoo, whining, and crying racism falsely especially accusing children of being racist um i hope that this sets an example that hey maybe you should think before you do that because you could get sued okay and at the very least you know you have karma which has a way of kind of making people pay for uh this type of reckless behavior that was engaged in by the staff at deadspin that decided to allow this guy to run this article and then refuse to apologize or to retract the disgusting statements made in this article about a nine-year-old. So again, karma has a way of uh, coming back around uh, for individuals who, you know, engage in this type of behavior. And I think that that's what we're seeing here. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.